Introduction to Time Study and Work Measurements. In this video, we'll understand the basic definitions um, with examples, and then later on, we'll provide examples under each of these how to calculate the standard time, the MTM System 1, MTM System 2, also the most time um, and work measurement system. Um, to start with, there are two ways we can do time study. One is the non-engineered method, which is, um, of course, not really that scientific. Uh, we can look at the historical uh, record of the amount of time it takes to do the certain job. We can ask for expert opinion, time log. Occurrence sampling is something uh, we have produced a separate video on that. Um, to me, I think it's more it takes more time than to do the actual engineered method of time study, um, which requires training and some effort to do it correctly. Uh, we learn all that uh, in this video series. So first is some definitions. Uh, observe time, as it says, as you go observe the uh, work, for example, Let's say it takes 20 minutes to do the oil change. However, when you are observing, process might be a little bit slower or faster. So you have to adjust it for the speed rating. Uh, soon we'll see an examples for this, how to do all these calculations. So once we adjust it for the speed rating, then we need to add the allowances. Uh, people need coffee breaks, things like that. Um, we have to account for that as well. Now we can use these two formulas. Either of them is fine. The second one is more preferred. I will see an example soon uh, for all these calculations. Uh, now, before we do the calculation, we need to understand the allowances. Um, what are the different things should be added to the um, the standard, the normal time or the time it takes? Um, the allowances can be calculated based on shift allowances or based on the amount of work uh, time need to do the certain job. For example, while change time twenty minutes plus. 15% allowances with that or something like that. Um, we'll do an example to understand what it is. Um, also, there is this fatigue allowances. Uh, typically, this is done based on the cycle time. Um, as humans, we need, we get tired. Um, so our muscle need to rest. Also, if it's mental fatigue. Also, machine needs downtime. Uh, machine needs maintenance. Um, so we need to account for those allowances as well. Environmental uh, fatigue, for example. Um, if you are working outside in a very hot sunny day, um, let's say you need at least 30 minutes of rest for uh, 30 minutes of working, then the total time for that work would be one hour, not just 30 minutes. And of course, there are different types of delays, uh, like supervisor comes, talk. Um, so I'll post this PowerPoint document so you can see it for yourself, um, all of these different types of allowances. Uh, then learning curve as well, we'll also post these documents so you can see what are the different types of learning. Now learning also both for the organization, also for the individual. Um, I have produced these graphs um, just to explain that um, how it is done. Um, now this is the learning curve equation y equals kx uh, power m. The slope depends on the task, type of task. In this situation, think about the oil changing time. Let's say the initial just fast oil change takes about 30 minutes to do, and then over time it will take less and less time. However, some of the stuff like the engine oil takes some time to be drained out. So it cannot be just happen quickly. It doesn't matter how many times we do, um, it will take some time to properly drain the oil. Let's say at least 10 minutes to properly drain the oil. So the slope parameter aim, so this different curve is different types of learning curve. Uh, for the oil change, probably this one uh, with a very low slope parameter compared to something that can be always improving these learning curves. And this can be calculated. We'll show an example how to do calculation of these slopes. Just to summarize, so when we calculate the standard time, we have to think about the speed rating, the allowances, the learning curve. Uh, we'll also talk about different types of time um, um, 
study MTM1, MTM2 most and so on uh, in next few videos.